Art Attack. This is Art Attack. <laughs> Hey, look at these fantastic old books I've found. Look at this. 100 years old. 150 years old. And what about this? I made it yesterday using one of these boring old writing books. Come and have a look at this. Take a book, any book you like. It can be one of those floppy exercise books, or it can even be a hardback writing book. And take some strips of Luro and just lay them on top of your book, like that. Then mix some PVA glue, two parts glue to one part water, and slop the glue onto your book and onto the loo roll. Just stick in the loo roll down on top of the book as you go. And you see what happens here? The loo roll soaks up all the glue and sticks it to the book. I'll just do a couple of strips here to show you. But you should cover the whole of the front of your book and the back of your book. It's also a good idea to do the inside of the book. I'll show you why in a minute. There it is. Now, the idea is to get it as flat as possible. I'll just do those two to show you. It doesn't matter if you've still got some crinkles in it, because that all adds to the old effect. Now, when you've covered your book, leave it to dry overnight, and you should have something that looks like that. And the reason I asked you to do the inside cover as well is because it stops it warping outwards as the book is drying. And then your book is ready to do your design. Now, you can do any design you like. I'll show you a couple in a minute, but I'm going to design an old, ancient... Now, a lot of those old books had sort of very ornate hinges on them, so I'm just going to block that in very roughly to start with. One there, maybe one there like that. You don't have to be neat at this stage. And if it's my diary, then I'm going to put my initial on the middle, like that. And a lot of those old books had sort of metal tips to protect them at the corners with rivets in. So let's put those in, just there. And if this is going to be a personal diary, then I'm going to put a lock on it. So let's put a lock on there, like that, with a keyhole. And when your design is done, take some more strips of loo paper or tissue paper, and this time dip them in the PVA mixture with your fingers. Squeeze out the excess like that. Look at that, it's a bit messy, so it's a good idea to put some newspaper down. And just use this pulp to build up your design into a 3D relief. Pressing it on onto your book with your fingers like that and moulding it as you go. And build up the whole of your drawn design and leave that to dry overnight. And when it's dry, you'll have something that looks just like that. Look at that. And the PVA glue and toilet roll has gone all hard and stiff on the front of your book. And then paint your design. Now you can paint it using poster paint or acrylic paint. But look what I've discovered. This stuff, boot polish. If you just rub on some ordinary boot polish onto the front of your book, just rubbing it in to all the cracks and creases like that. Look at that, getting all of my fingers and everything there. And it just goes into all those creases and gives this great sort of old leather effect. And this is just ordinary brown tan shoe polish. You can get it from any shoe shop. And go over the whole of your book, and when you've covered your book, paint the metal bits, and you can paint them white or silver, or better still, use one of these things, a gold and silver pen. And that will actually go over, or just about anything really, it'll even go over the boot polish there that I've spilled onto that edge. There it is. Just going over all my metal bits. Again, I'll just do that lock there to show you. And when you've done the whole of your design, you can always go round it in permanent marker to make it more bold, and do a bit inside the lock to make it dark, and you'll have something that looks just like that. Look at that. There it is. Your own ancient personal diary. And there's lots of different designs you could try. Try something bold and colourful. Or what about a design based on your own school uniform? Or even a design for your sketch pad? Try it yourself. A 3D book. Oh, they look great. Hello, it's me, the head. Just mix two parts PVA glue with one part water. Toilet roll and model with it. 
and you'll find you can make almost anything. Do you want to see what I made? I just made a mess. <laughs>